All right, guys, Anthony here, Subaru Service. Ryan's truck, we're gonna go ahead and do an actual compression test. I was gonna take this side out, but I didn't wanna take the battery out. We went ahead and exposed a whole bunch on this side, but we're gonna go ahead and put some numbers down and I'm gonna video this compression test. We'll, uh, actually, I have not barred the engine over since I pulled all, all the glow plugs are out. It'll be a lot easier on the starter. Uh, so, I hope a bunch of crap don't fly out of their freaking glow plug holes. Uh, look the hell out. Okay, all right, hang on just a second. All right, guys, we are in cylinder number eight. Let's see, can you see that? Let me get set up here so you can see it. I hope nothing flies out of here. If something flies out, just stop. How am I gonna know if something flies out? I don't know. Hit it. on cylinder eight. Damn. What do we got? All right, hang on. All right, guys, these are all dry numbers, so we'll go and we'll put oil in it again. If it goes up with oil, then we'll know that it's not a valve issue, that it's actually a cylinder issue. So let's see if you can see that. Try to get the glare out of here. This is cylinder, what is this, number six. All right, hit it. All right, here you go. This is cylinder number four. All right, hit it. Okay. I'm gonna call it 340. 340. All right, here you go. This is, uh, hang on, let me get set up. Cylinder number two. All right, hit it. I mean, we could probably call that almost 320, barely, 320. All right, guys, I got this this camera charging, but the battery's dead, so the flash went away. Okay, there it is. You can see it, the 200 to 400. This is wet number eight. So if it goes higher than the previous number, that means we got a cylinder issue and the oil's helping to seal the rings up. If it stays the same, that means we got an upper end out of the heads. So, here we go. Uh, all right, hit it. All right, all right. Okay, so it stayed about the same, that's 300, a little less than. All right guys, I'm gonna try number eight again. Oh man, the flash isn't coming on. I'm gonna try number eight again. Let's, uh, let's see. You ready? Yep. All right, I think I got oil in there now. I was worried that I didn't get oil in the glow plug hole. All right, hit it. All right. All right, we're gonna call that 345, so that is a worn cylinder. Damn it. Oh, the camera went away. Hang on. Okay. Alright guys, I don't know what happened, but the screen went away. The camera quit recording. We had to do a bunch of other work. Hang on. Alright, this camera kind of screwed up, so we're gonna we got it on the zoomed in thing. This is number six. We had to take a break over there and work on Bob's truck and do a bunch of work to it. Because it was messed up. But let's see if we can focus in here. And uh, this is oil. There we go. Oil and number six. This is wet. All right, hit it. All right. All right, there. That's 320. We could probably call it 325. 
Okay, that number went down. We're going to do number six again because it actually went down with oil. All right, hit it. Yeah, it went down with oil. That's not cool. Oh crap, hang on. All right guys, here you go. We This is wet, cylinder four. All right, hit it. All right. 320. All right guys, this is cylinder number two wet let me get it to focus get some more light on it there you go all right hit it all right not quite 300 about 295 all right guys uh, this is the problem cylinder we're gonna go in number five or number seven, I mean. And I don't know. I mean, if it's nothing, then it could be a rocker arm. It could be an intake valve. Not, I don't know. It could be anything. Who knows? Uh, we'll be yanking a valve cover, but I would just want to check compression. Let's hit it. Okay, stop. Damn. Got 100 pounds. Do it again. Ready? Yep. All right, so less than 100 pounds from number seven. Uh, it's kind of a moot point to do anything else now. I could have started with this one, but I kind of, uh, I, in my opinion, the uh, even side is more of a pain in the butt to do, so it. Uh, I'd like to get that done first. But if we ever have a cylinder that goes to straight nothing, then almost nothing, well, then we kind of have to kind of stop there. Do it again. Ready? Okay, since it's jumping up a little bit, really makes me, it might be valves. I mean, if it was a piston or something like that, it would, you would think it wouldn't have anything. Not jump up to 100 every now and then. I don't know if that valve's opening and closing like it should. We probably got rocker arm issues. Uh, hang on. The light, all right guys. So, we probably could use a little more oil changes. Uh, hang on, let me climb up here. Okay, so, what do you see wrong here? I see two tops of valve stems that don't have nothing connected to them. Well, son of a bitch. So, there is a chance, hey, there is a chance that we could just uh, maybe put a full set of rockers on it. I mean, that's what I would do, full set of rockers, but we need to hopefully look at the lobe lift and make sure the cam, shaft, the cam and the lifters are okay. But you can see it right there, those two right in the middle. Down. Rocker fell off, let's look at the tip. Hang on just a second. Hang on, pause it. All right, guys, it's like 10 o'clock on Friday night. At least we tore it down. Rockers are screwed up. Both of them are off, intake and exhaust. Both push rods are off. So we're going to, I don't know, let's see how much metal's in here. And damn, sucks. Maybe, I mean, the bottom of the rocker broke. The ball, the ball that the, on the rocker, the little pocket that the ball bearing rides on was broke off. Bring that over. No, no, just, yeah, the whole thing. Um, you can see right there. Whoa. The bottom of it broke off right there. Oh, right there. So, who knows? But, that's it. Made a little 10 minute video of, uh, that's just, that stuff's dark too, man. It's dark. The rocker tip didn't look too wore out, you know, but man, I hope we don't have a camshaft failure. 
But that's it. I'm going to call this good. At least we tore it down. We got to the freaking rocker. Number seven wasn't letting any air in, wasn't letting any air out. That's why we would pick up that pressure, uh, that first 100 pounds, because as, if the piston is down, it's going to leak a little bit and fill that up. It's not really going to be in a complete vacuum. So when the piston goes up, it's going to compress the air that's already in the cylinder. That's why we would get that first jump to 100 pounds. So, yep. All right, guys, let's, uh, I don't know, do something on Monday. Have a good day.